Today I'll be showing you guys how you can implement this strafe system. So when you press and hold the right mouse button, you can uh, target lock the enemy and you can strafe. I'm going to be posting the animation pack in the description below of the strafe animation. So this is what you're going to get and let's go for the tutorial. So in this tutorial is going to be a continuation of the of the target lock on enemy. So as you can see here, I have my character. And so when I press the right mouse button, I want the character to strafe. And when I release, I want the character to stop strafing. So now let's create a new folder for the animations. Uh, I have created mine here. So now we just have to import. And here you're gonna go to the folder. Uh, let's just import everything here. And for the skeleton, we're gonna choose the S key mannequin. Yeah, the first one. So let's import all. Um, now let's create a blend space. We're gonna go to the blend space. So we're gonna go and choose the UE5 mannequin skeleton. And here it's going to be strafe. I don't know. There we go. Double click on that. And here we are. So I'm just going to give you a little explanation of how the blend space works. Uh, the blend space is like the place where you put your animations. And it's going to blend between the speed and direction of the character. So here you're going to be able to see how the character is going to move respectively to that direction and speed in real time. As you can see here, all those little dots represents uh, the animation. So if you want to add the animation, you can just drag and drop. So as you can see, the, ax the axis of the speed is from the bottom to the top. And for the direction, we're going to use the left and right sides. So we're going to be placing the animation respectively to the direction and speed of the character. On the bottom is going to be the idle animation because we're not going to move. And here on the second line, we only set the walk animations and its respective direction. And on the top, we're going to have the run animations. So now let's learn how to create a new blend space. So this is a blend space, right? On the horizontal axis, we're going to write direction. And on the minimum axis value, we're going to choose minus 180. And here is going to be 180. Grid divisions is 8. Click here on the snap to grid. And here on the vertical axis is going to be our speed. Here you can write 900. Grid divisions three. Snap to grid as well. So we can start putting our animations. So as you can see, as, as I explained it earlier, uh, all those animations on the bottom is going to be our idle animation. So we can search here. It's better for us to search on the on the search bar uh, for idle. So we can drag and drop those animations. So let's get the walk, walk forward and get the walk forward to be in here and the run forward to be in here on the top. So as you can see, when you press counter, you can preview the animation. So you can kind of have an idea of what direction you have to choose. Uh, the next animation we're going to get is for the right. So wait, forward, right, uh, there we go. Walk forward, right. All right, we can save, go back to the third person map. Now let's go to the third person character, which is in uh, blueprints. 
And on here, as we did the previous tutorial, was target lock. So if you didn't do the, the previous tutorial, you can just, you know, go here and right mouse button. And you can uh, put your code in here. Uh, I'm going to put mine in here because uh, this is the continuation of the code. So what you're going to do here, we're going to, after we uh, target lock the enemy, we want to play the strafe animation. So we're going to set, set orient rotation. We can uncheck this option here, click on here, and we're going to get the character movement on here. And uh, we can just duplicate this. We're going to get the target lock. So when the, when the target locked is off, when we are not targeting the enemy, we want to stop the animation of strafe. This is what I'm doing right now is just the strafe system. Also, we want to use controller desired desired rotation. We're going to set the use controller desired rotation and we're going to pin this and duplicate this like so. And we're going to check this option here and this option here. So when we compile and hit play, uh, when we press, we have the full control of the character movement like this. So when we press and hold the right mouse button, you can see that uh, our character is moving on the controller desired rotation. Uh, the system is ready to receive the strafe animation, which is this one right here. Uh, all right, for the next step, so you got to make sure you have this variable of target locked. Okay. We need the, the information of when the right mouse button is clicked. So uh, it's going to be important for us to use on the animation blueprint of many. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to go to the animation blueprint of many. So type here ABP many, double click on this. Let's go to the ABP many. Now we need to set up the code for the the direction so let's go to the event graph and let's add event blueprint begin play so now here we need to access the variables from the third person character so that we know if uh, the, we are pressing the right mouse button and releasing it So what we're going to do to access those variables, so we're going to cast to BP third person or whatever you named it, third person character. And here on the object, we're going to get player character like so. And here we're going to promote this to a variable and we can name this variable to character ref like so. So now we can get the variable from the third person character blueprint. So let's go here. Uh, type is valid. And on is valid, we're going to get the character reference. Okay, out of character reference, we're going to get target locked. And we're going to promote this target lock to a variable. So that we have the variable here, target locked. Go to the local motion, go to walk run, grab the strafe blend space, and plug that into here. We can call this, oh shit, we can call this aim unarmed, as you wish. And we gotta go back to walk run. Double click on this. So if you don't see the ground speed, you can just uh, click on this arrow to the right and then when it's down we can grab the ground speed so we're gonna get ground speed so if the ground speed is greater than 0 0.3 the boolean value is going to be true and the target locked is set to true 
then we can enter the transition of uh, strafe animation. And here, going back to aim on arm to walk run, we can get target locked. So here, when the target is not being locked, we want to enter the transition going back to walk and run normally. So now let's double click on aim unarmed. Here you're going to drag and drop the ground speed to the speed. Here is asking for the direction. So we're going to have to set it up. If we try to hit play and try to play the animation, uh, as you can see, we play the strafe animation, but as we don't have the direction, the character cannot move, you know, uh, to the sides. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to grab the character uh, below references. Grab the character, get character, and get actor rotation. Now we want to calculate direction. Now here for the velocity, we can just drag and drop from the variables. Now finally, promote this return value to a variable. And we're going to drag off the pen to the new variable. And we can name this variable to direction. We're going to name this direction. Now you can hit compile, save. Let's go back to the locomotion. Double click on A unarmed. Now let's, now we have the direction variable. Now we can plug it in and now it works. As we can see, my character moves a little bit stiff, but we can change that in the blend space. So let's go back to the blend space. We can go down here on weight speed and set this value to two. So I find that way it's a little bit better. The character moves more smoothly without glitching too much. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I see you next time. Bye.